Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my main channel, Meg's Movies, where I talk about my love for movies, from reactions to collections to hauls and to today's video. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, and to round up 2020, we are now going to do my top five best movies of 2020. And yes, I am wearing pyjamas because I've decided that the last video will just be a nice, chilled video. So let's get into my top five. Okay, and at number five we have Onward. I absolutely love this movie. I uh, didn't get to see it in the cinema, but as soon as it came out on Blu-ray, I brought it, and I'm so glad I got it on Blu-ray. I love Chris Pratt's character, I love Tom Holland's character. Definitely a good Pixar movie. Such a good film, such a heartwarming story, and yeah, if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend you go and see it. Okay, and at number four we have Birds of Prey. I got to see this in the cinema with my friend Sean. Such, such a good film. Say, I love Harley Quinn's character. She was one of my favourites from the Suicide Squad movie. Um, it was quite nice to see her get her own movie. And it was nice to see the empowered, sort of like, woman group performing it. And, yeah, I absolutely love this film. I'm so glad I got to see it in the cinema. I love the action scene at the very end. And if you like Harley Quinn, and if you like Margot Robbie's version of Harley Quinn... I definitely recommend you watch this video. This film, sorry. And okay, at number three we have After We Collided. Uh, I got to actually see this in the cinema. I know the first one called After is on Netflix, but for some reason they put After, Col After We Collided in cinema. But I'm so glad I got to see it on the big screen. I really enjoyed the first one. I really enjoyed the second one. Certainly different to see um, sort of like fan story films become a thing now. Like, I didn't realise they would become a thing, but I'm glad this one became a thing. And I cannot wait to see the third one, which I believe they are currently shooting. Okay, so we're now into our top two, and of course at number two, it was very difficult to choose between these two, because one of them's got my favourite act in it, in it but the number one choice was one I've been looking forward to seeing for so 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 long so it's very difficult for me to choose no my luck by next year that could change but for now at number two it is Sonic the Hedgehog of course I would put Jim Carrey movie at my second place I absolutely there's no way it was going to be bottom five there's no way it was going to be number five number four number three it had to be number two I did enjoy this movie, um, a lot of gay movies are not as good as we hope, but I'm so glad that this one came out as good as it did. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got to see it in cinema, I'm glad I've got it on Blu-ray, and I just love the bit where Jim Carrey's just dancing, and then he just gets jump scared, and it's just so funny. Oh my god, I just, I love it, and the characters were good in it as well, but most importantly, it was nice to see Jim Carrey back on the big screen. And okay, number one, we have a film that I wasn't sure about because obviously the first two films came out a while ago. Uh, it took so long for this one to come out. When I saw the trailer, I was so excited to see it. And usually when you watch a trailer for something, you panic because you're like, oh, you know, like it looks good. But at the same time, because it's such a classic film to the rest of them, it's like, oh, it's like, could it be good? And it was, hence why it's my top. And that is... Bill and Ted face the music. I love the first two Bill and Ted's. Um, so as soon as they announced that there was going to be a number three, I was like, I have to go and see. Especially since it was Bill and Ted with kids. And I'm so, so glad I got to see it in the cinema. I believe twice. I believe I went to see it twice. <laughs> but yeah, say so Bill and Ted face the music and Sonic the Hedgehog was a very tough decision to make. But say, so no, my luck, I'll probably change my mind in the next month, in the next couple of months, who knows. But at my number one, it has to be Bill and Ted face the music. Okay, and that's my top five best movies of 2020. 
Uh, as you can tell, a lot of the movies that I chose for my top five for the best movies were comedies. Um, I do like my funny movies, they are my favourites. But hopefully next year I am going to watch a lot more movies and hopefully I'll be able to do a top ten next year. But for the films that they came out with this year, they weren't too bad. Some were mm, but some were pretty good, so it's not been too bad a year, especially with the whole COVID situation. I thought why not end the year on a good video. So yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, do hit that subscribe button to listen to more videos of me talk about my passion for movies, especially if you're a movie lover yourself. And hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Let me know what your favourite movie of 2020 was down in the comments below. I love hearing your opinions. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!